Hello crafters, this is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and let's have some more floral layering ink blending fun putting together a card using Pink Fresh Studios Floral Focus. Now this set is only a stamp and stencil so there is no coordinating die and no hot foil plate but it does give you a perfect A2 layer which is four and a quarter by five and a half inch. Alrighty. And here I put it on a note card, an A2 note card base. Let's get started. Let's so first up crafters, we have my trusty, we are memory keepers silicone mat and my little 2.99 acetate sheet, <laughs> ink blending acetate sheet from Hobby Lobby, just so I don't stain this any further. And also a piece of Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock. This is the 80 pound. I will link it below because you can't get Nina, you know, at your local craft store. You can get it from Amazon, scrapbook.com, a cherry on top, etc. Alrighty, and then now here is the set. And as you can see, I was having some ink blending, floral layering fun. And I'm storing this. I believe this is the seven by 10 inch size. Let's check. Yep, seven by 10 inch size, the large scrapbook.com storage envelope. These envelopes I had bought in a bundle. Now I'm buying some more because they're holding my little sets together, including extra, extra parts, you know, extra pieces that I make. Holds it all nicely together. And this is a rubber stamp. If I had a hot foil plate, it'll hold the whole entire thing. Yeah, love it, love it, love it. Up first, let me show you. Let me see, which one was the first card I made? I made this one first. So I did pink, I wanted to do some gray leaves, and I went blue. I like it, don't love it, love it. Then I did this one, which, and both of these are stamped with black ink. There's no heat embossing, nothing, just black ink with my misty stamping tool. This one here, I did kind of a teal, and the greens, and I can put something here for the centers. And this is a die set. It's a new die set from Concord and Ninth. Here it is, it's called All For You. So it's a big U, celebrate, thanks, oh, for and miss. Those are the words, there it is. Those are the words that come in this set. Super duper cute. Got that from scrapbook.com. I saw it, I was like, oh, that is adorable. Let's look at that U. <laughs> Let me measure it here. The die is four inches wide by three inches tall. Cute. And then it's made to have either miss, thanks, or celebrate layered across the top. So I cut out the celebrate and layered it across the top. I did back each layer with 110 pound cardstock. So here I was picking up the sort of corally here. So I did peach and then this, hmm, what would I call this color? Oh, uh, rose gold, I guess, or, or copper to pick up back these roses here in the background and layer it up. I think it turned out cute. Celebrate you. So that could be a nice birthday card. Alrighty. I did that one I need to turn into. So these are all like card fronts. This one now, I did heat embossing. I stamped this with clear embossing ink and then put on gold fine detail embossing powder. That's that ink on three where I have it. Here it is, gold rush. Ink on three ultra fine embossing powder. Super cute. I think it's, you know, unique and beautiful this colorway than the black. I like it, I like it. And I could have also done heat embossing with the black which would have made it even brighter. Alrighty, so first let's go with some stamping. In this instance, Floral Focus is a rubber stamp, red rubber stamp. And it is the size of five and three quarter inch. It does have a border. So here is an A2 stamp. And it comes all the way out to um, about four and three eighths, almost four and a half. So here's my misty stamping tool. And this is the older Misty. There is a new Misty. This is my um, mouse pad, which I'm going to take out because I am using a rubber stamp. So I need to have, this has a certain thickness. So you take out the mouse pad or whatever that black pad that comes in your Misty. 
take that out and now the stamp will work see there this is uh, eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of paper cut in half at five and a half inch I could have gone you know smaller but I just know I'm gonna make a mess so I just cut it in half you could do a2 but you just have to make sure that this lines up perfect I like to have the just in case I make a mess alrighty I'm going to do that gold again because I really like the gold so we're going to do some clear embossing ink in this case I'm using my Wow slow drying clear embossing ink you can use um, Versamark that will work oh I didn't use my aha anti-static powder anti-static tool I remembered it this time ha 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 that's from EK success all right so I'm gonna flip this over let me get my trusty stampendable there we go let me stamp it one more time with that all righty so I stamped it again with the embossing ink the clear embossing ink and I'm going to just hit some of these corners with my hand and then come in with my Stampendable. I'm using my left hand because my shoulder is bothering me. I guess all this ink blending or maybe just being on a computer all day long. <laughs> Alrighty, open this up. There we go. I can see all the goodness. Let me just do one last little spot that I think just needed. Maybe you can't see it, but I can see it. Yeah, right here. I'm going to just press with my fingers. There I go. Yeah, okay. Alrighty, crafters. Put my mouse pad back in here. That's for when I'm using just, you know, regular clear stamps. Move this off to the side. Ink on three, gold rush, clear, Im I mean, gold embossing ink. Okay, I'm gonna go like so. There we go. There's some thick pieces there. Oh, that covered pretty good, actually. Let me go the other way, <laughs> just to make sure. Just tap it off a little bit. Pretty good coverage. Now it's fine. I don't have to rush to do that. Now I got to clean up all this stuff. Just, I didn't have my coffee filter with me. It's upstairs. Okay, there we go. Do, 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 do. Dust that off. All right, let me clear this up. Always good to keep wet wipes at your station. Huggies, crafter's best friend. So here I'm just using a wet wipe, some Huggies wet wipes, unscented for my allergies. <laughs> and just taking off all that excess embossing powder in gold that got everywhere. And this can also take heat, so I can heat this on it. So now I'm gonna take my heat gun, and this is my Milwaukee heat gun. They don't sell this anymore, and if they do, it's not worth buying it because it's very expensive. What you can get if you want a decent heat gun is a Wagner heat gun. Same, I believe it's the same company because I had done a Google search and they both came up Wagner, Milwaukee, so maybe one bought the other, etc. This is an older heat gun, works just as fine. There is the Wagner with a little curved, same exact thing, conducts the same amount of heat, and all is good. Let me plug it in. Okay, I'm gonna heat up my heat gun. Oh, look, I had a little mist area right there. You see it? Oh, oh well. So I'm heating up my heat gun a little bit and then I'm gonna go from the back and then on the top. Alrighty, I'm gonna mute this now.
variety crafters so i am back don't you love the magic of heat embossing it went from that dark color look how pretty it is now look at that there we go can you see that oh i love this all righty so there is my lovely heat emboss i could have stamped it yes but i when i did the heat embossing just so cute and i just had to show you guys that all righty so now this set has all the stencils <laughs> and they are five okay floral focus so now each stencil is numbered and you don't have to go in the order there is the number right there see it says number what is that i can't tell it's too it's too close here i think it's three it says but i can't see one two three no three four five okay there we go now i have them in order Oh, goodness, my eyes. So I think I'm going to go close to what I did in that other video there with the yellows. I kind of like the yellows. Let's try something funky. Let's go blue. All right, I'm going to get a piece of... Um, I haven't shown you guys this. Scrapbook.com had a special the other day with their mint tape, which is like kind of like a purple tape, but with a lighter stick, and you can use it for masking. I'm going to use it here. Yeah. Because it's readily available and it works too. They had it on special and I got some of it. It can reuse, but definitely not as much as the Amazon purple tape. Here, my ink stand with the four wells. Love, love, love. This way. I'm going to go with Pink Fresh Studio for the greens, mint and meadow. And for my blues, blue jay and sapphire. Let's go with that. In this case, I'm going to use, have my ink, my um, ink daubers, the ones from Amazon, and I'll link everything that I'm using below, but I'm also going to be using my Alta New small ink blending brushes. Let's go with this for the blue. That green is more this color, and here's a darker color, there we go. Keep it in that nice little art bin box. I picked that box up from um, Hobby Lobby. Let's get started. Let's do some Blue Jay. Dipping it off over here so it doesn't stain up my beautiful silicone. Mm -hmm. See, now I'm using this one because this is a bigger surface. Now, I don't use this style, this kind here for my... Um, Distress oxides. It just it's too painful for my hand my wrist and my shoulder So I like to but I do like it for dye inks in this in this size. It goes very very well Look at that isn't that pretty Let me go again. Just put on some more ink just a little bit more Just into the centers here Alrighty, there we go. I don't need the darker blue yet. So that's stencil one. Cute, 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 cute. I'll wipe that off later. Then now we go into stencil number two, which is these florals. Okay, then we go off into stencil number two. Stencil two, I think I'm going to do, let's revisit yellow. I'm going to go here. Sunshine and sweet mustard. Alrighty, so now I wish. Eh, okay. Yeah, let me pop these greens over, move them off, put the yellows in. Alrighty, so I removed my greens and replaced it with my yellow. I don't need the greens yet. There we go, and so I still came back in with the yellow. I was gonna do the yellow on the bigger light, the last flower, but I think I'm gonna stick with this one. And I can put my finger, you can put your finger in it or you don't have to. You can hold it this way too, either way. It's comfortable either way, but it is small and it does get into these little nooks and crannies easier than the bigger one. Alrighty. 
So that's that. That's number two. Reveal. You can stop right there if you want. Why not? I think it's pretty right there. Next up. Now we're going into these leaves. Scrapbook.com mint tape. See, it doesn't have the stronghold, but sometimes you don't need the super stronghold because super stronghold can tear your paper, can tear your projects. It's also good for masking. This is the mint. Alrighty, here we go. Mint again, more and more mint. Pretty, I kind of like it like this. <laughs> Let's look. You know what? I'm stopping right here. I like it like this. I don't need to go, I don't have to go the details. This is detail, this is less detail. I like it like this. I'm gonna stop right there. My mind is saying, Stop. I am going to stop. Of course, you can continue with the next stencil and go on through. But I think it looks delicate and pretty just like this. So I am not even going to go any further. Cute. So I left out two stencils, actually, four and five, which would be detailed flower, detailed leaves. Detail in the leaf, detail in the flower. And it would do even this one, too, the yellow. But I, I'm liking this, so I'm going to stick with that. Alrighty, let me take my alcohol isopropyl. This one spritz. Wipe it. Microfiber cloth. I have a whole set of these from Amazon. Love, 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 love. They work well for cleaning stamps too. Let's prove that point. That side looks clean. Here's my rubber stamp with all that embossing ink on it. Let's just clean it off with the all to new unscented stamp cleaner. I love this stuff. Yep, love, love, love. Just spritz, spritz, there we go. Take a nice clean section and wipe. You see it coming off? Just like that. Now, um, if you see any dark in here is because I've also used this to stamp black ink as well. There we go. Nice and clean. And I will clean the stencils as well with the alcohol, the um, isopropyl alcohol. I'm using 91% isopropyl alcohol as well. Here's some examples on the back. You can stencil alone or stamp and stencil. You can tell which one I like. <laughs> stamp and stencil. Here we are. I'm going to use, I found while rearranging my crop bag, seeing that I'm not going to any crops anytime soon, I had a little mini card trimmer. This is a Fiskars, guillotine small. So I'm gonna trim this down. This is eight and a half inch long, five, Call it five and a half inch wide. So yeah, A2. You can also use it for trimming photos. There is a smaller one to this, and I think there's a smaller one to the Tim Holtz too, to the tonic version that does photos. Little four by six. Some people, people who do scrapbooking a lot and are only really working with four by six, they don't need a large footprint. All right, I'm gonna trim off this little edge here a little bit more. So let me measure it out, four and a quarter. There we go. Look at that. Come on, now that's a sliver. <laughs> yeah, I like this. I'm gonna keep this one down here so I don't always have to pull out the big, huge 12 by 12 size, you know, Tim Holtz tonic trimmer. This is 110 pound card stock. So I'm gonna cut this in half. I'm gonna make another note card. So, eight and a half by 11 inches, cut in half at four and a quarter inch. Here we go. There we are. 
Going to score down the middle at five and a half inch. Here's my old trusty scoreboard. I have had this scoreboard from the time when I started crafting. Yeah, that long, love it. Right here at five and a half inch, hopefully there. Okay, right here at five and a half inch. Here we go. And fold in half, take out my Teflon bone folder and burnish. Just creating that nice crease. And here we are. Now we're at a full, oh no, we're a little bit under here. Just a hair under. Alrighty, so now, here now I have an option. Do I want it like this or do I want it like that? See how it works both ways? Isn't that nice? I think I like it like this. This instance, I'm going to use my scrapbook.com tape. It's been on sale lately again, which is nice. I like to get that six rolled and just, you know, use it over time. Okay, so after applying the double-sided tape, then remove your tape backing. And now after removing the tape backing, I'm going to adhere it to the front of my card panel. Let me turn it sideways. Now, if I have any excess, I could just trim that off. Oh, pretty decent. I'm loving this card. I kind of like not going all the way out. All right, now I have some options for my sentiment. I have this that I made with some black embossing powder. This one here is Concord and Ninth Simply Said. And I had gotten this clearance, scrapbook.com. Not clearance, but hey. So I could go like this. I could put a little strip here and make a thing like a little um, washi strip here. I've been thinking of you. You're perfect for me. But then again, I also could do, look at that. This now is with hot foil plates. And this is the, I'm telling you, I love these scrapbook.com storage envelopes. They're just holding all my little kits together. Alrighty, so here I have the hot foil plate. Thank you so much, hot foil plate from Pink Fresh Studio and the matching die. It's only these two. It will do like this. This is on same Nina Classic Crest Solo White cardstock. Yeah, I'm thinking this. I think what I'm gonna do though is cut this a few more times and then layer it up. But I'm liking that so far. I could also do, which I hope you guys went and got because it's gonna sell out again, the um, Perfect Sentiments. Now this is holding the whole set in this medium envelope. Here I have my samples that I made, two sheets ready to go, stamp, stencil, and hot foil plate. No, not stencil, stamp, dye, hot foil plate. <laughs> I also did some heat embossing with the stamp, but I think with this, this is the perfect sentiments set. Love. This one has been sold out a lot and I found it one place has all three in stock. Happy birthday. Look at that. That's cute. And I could cover up that little area right there like that. Hmm. That's a thought. I could do sending hugs. All right. As you can tell, I haven't made up my mind yet. I could do hello. And you could add, you know, I could add a piece of vellum behind this if I want. Thank you. Hmm. That's a nice thank you card. Wouldn't you... Wouldn't that be nice to make and give somebody? I mean, these come together so easy, so quickly. And it's one big stamp and one big hot foil plate, and then you just put that one big die and run it through. This thing, love. But I am kind of liking this one. I think I want to do this one. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm, I'm feeling that one. But if you aren't feeling that one, then you have other options. <laughs> You have options. That's one thing Pink Fresh gives you, is a lot of options. All of this fits in this medium-sized storage. I am telling you, I did not know that this was gonna be this, this nice. I would have bought some more when they first had that special. Cute, cute, cute. And then I could do this. Let's put some gems on it, let's just see. I'm not adhering anything yet, because I know I'm gonna have to layer that up, but now I'm playing. Just curious. Gem. Gem. I'll show you the finished card in another video. But just know it's going to be something more like this. <laughs> oh, 
I'm liking the gems too. Huh. This one is the Ocean Breeze. Ooh, the Pink Fresh Gem and Ocean Breeze seems to be working. Or maybe I could do white too. Alrighty, alrighty. Okay, crafters, I just wanted to show you this little wonderful set. I had full intended to um, ink blend all the way, all five stencils, but once I did it in this light blue, I am so liking this colorway. <laughs> I just didn't go all the way with it, like this one. Right. But by making it like this, I have these ready to go. All I need to do is just put a topper and I'm done. Or you could leave it like this and, you know, you could actually give this to somebody as a series of note cards and then they could, because sometimes cards don't have to have anything written on the front. It's just once they open it, right? That's pretty. You could make a whole series of this just for yourself. Just a whole series of them. Pretty. And then this is it stamped. But I think I'm liking that heat emboss with the gold, right? Alrighty, crafters, until the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay crafty, my friends. Bye.